hi guys and welcome to unity tutorial of these tata assets yes this tata asset everything you guys are looking at is the tata asset including the amateur you're looking at that was replaced using some of the assets downloaded from the asset store so let me just show you guys how it all looks like and that is the amateur walking to another range there we go let's, let's just follow it all the way and there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys straight into unity development environment and we put one of these together and that's him just come to say hi to his buddy so guys let's go to unity development environment and put one of these together hi guys and welcome to unity tutorial of how to modify the starter as and the starter asset so let me show you guys the following components all of these components that you can see in my project area you guys are going to need that for this particular project first off the starter assets here is the starter asset here I've already imported it straight into my project I'm going to be using it with my pro web starter double click on the pro web starter and I'm now going to double click on the scene of the pro web starter open it up and then double click on the scene itself loading up there we go and there we go guys that is the scene okay if I run it now this is what you guys will see okay let's run it guys and there it's coming up now there we go that is how it's looking like okay so what I want to try and achieve is to move all of these buildings and so on to an area where we can see it and where the this Tata asset comes in I'm going to go straight into this Tata asset itself right here that is it I'm not going to be using anything more than the amateur inside the Tata asset just double click on that and it's going to be inside the prefab there we go and that is it right there let's drag it and dump it right there let's go to the scene drag and there we go but the thing is we is not going to walk around it, it's going to walk around sorry but uh, the let's make sure the camera picks him up so let's click on this camera right there and just move it so that we can that is him there that I want to be able to see it inside the the game so let's move the game down here and let's click on the amateur itself and just drag him up a little bit more there okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on run when I run it we should be able to we'll be able to move the amateur around but the problem is the camera won't be following him around at all and that is it you see that guys so that is him but the problem is he can go from here to Timbuktu the camera won't be following him that is him going so we need to take care of that alright now let's do one thing you see the background let's take care of that background that's easy to do you guys would need uh, you're gonna need this particular skybox this very one here that says a uh, sky series so all you need to do is go to windows and uh, package manager inside the package manager you guys should be able to see that I've also imported this classic skybox I don't know if I'm gonna need that so the importation of all of these uh, 
asset will take quite some time that's why I have to get them into my system first all right now let's bring this down and I'll show you to you guys you see right here we have the I think it's called Pro Western Starter Park the Pro Western Starter Park you should be able to see that right here you need to download that you're gonna need it if you want to that is it right there the one I'm working with right now then the old buildings I'm gonna add that to my components then low poly cowboy I've also imported that I may have one or two uses for that and that's it okay and of course the starter asset itself the third person starter asset this very one okay so you need all of those so I'm gonna end it now I need this very skybox here I don't know if I drag it you see that there you can just drag it dump it right there or let's see how this one is gonna look like I'm going to compare both first of all dump this here and see how that's going to look like just drag and drop or you can always go to your windows and select rendering to get that done this is how my skybox is looking look at that so the thing I want to try and achieve now is to add the camera to it so let's stop that and have a go at the other skybox I'm just gonna drag that drop it there and just to see which one is much better let's see it's coming up yeah this is the other skybox okay shows like a beautiful sunny day and um, at the far end maybe it's gonna be raining or something like that I think maybe I might settle for this this looks a little bit much better okay so let's try and achieve one thing first our third person the camera is now following him around like I said earlier on so we need to find a way to get the camera to follow it so what I am going to do now is so let's exit out and I'll come here the project area there right click on it and let's uh, go to create select C sharp script and in there I'm just gonna give that a name I'm gonna call it camera controller there we go and select the camera controller click on open there we go and right in here let's get rid of that and enter the following variable so I'm gonna say public game object player so that's the name of my variable and underneath I'm gonna declare another one that I'll call private vector tree that's the method we're using and I'll call that offset there we go and right in here inside the the function start or function or the method start I'm going to say offset equals transform dot position player dot transform dot position and we end that so what's happening is we subtract the position of the camera from the position of the player and it's the value is stored inside the offset so I'm now going to come in here I'm going to say transform but we need to change this to lick updates that's more like it um, transform dot position equals player dot transform dot position plus 
the position plus the off offset and that will give us the exact location of the player I'm going to save that now get rid of this I'm going to save that Just click on save once it's saved let's go back to our unity editor right it's now compiling the script once it finished compiling I will then drag the script straight onto the camera main camera controller here there and if I come down here that is the script the script is now asking me who is the player I'm gonna grab this player amateur just dump it right in there and that should take care of the camera not following the amateur itself so I've clicked on play play and let's see what's gonna happen now let's see oh it seems to be huge I think there's something wrong with that camera let's see okay let's check out the codes again check this out I think here that was meant to be uppercase yeah say so it's changed to blue now to the reserve word so I'm gonna save that again let's go back into my editor here and I'm gonna try and run it and see hopefully I might be getting somewhere now oh look at that okay it's still not there isn't much different there so let me exit out and I'm gonna come in here where is the player itself so let's move him a little bit further and run coming down okay looking more I think is a little bit too far all right that's not too bad and some more adjustments still needs to be made since the camera is kind of like deep a little bit okay that's fine okay okay let's replace the amateur so I'm gonna come in here you see the cowboy amateur right in here let's go into the prefab that is a cowboy but I need to convert it to to humanoid well I don't seem to have that in here let's go to the material or the model yeah okay let's see this okay it's telling me here that it cannot be configured properly because of an unexpected uh, hierarchy so this one let's see the second one alright I, I think maybe I should make use of this cowboy 1.1 so I'm gonna come in here the humanoid yeah make sure that is humanoid anyway that's fine and I don't need this but let's just apply that let's see the standard bone is about 4 okay let me just click on apply now coming to the hierarchy here I'm going to drop down make sure the player amateur is dropped down and I'm going to go straight into the geometry there I will now drag this very cowboy straight underneath the amateur here that is it somewhere here now you see my main amateur that I copied from downloaded from a standard asset let's double click on it so that you can see it is there somewhere so let's hide the cowboy for the meantime that is the amateur that I copied from the starter asset the third person controller now enable the cowboy you see the amateur that was copied from the starter asset I'm going to disable that do not delete it just disable it now I am going to now come in here let's go back to the project in here select the material 
I want to make sure the material is applied on the cowboy itself. That is it, right? They just drag and drop. That is it. Now, the other thing we need to do is select the player amateur here and let's come right here where we have the inspector. You see where we have the avatar? Drop it down and let's look for the cowboy. I believe the cowboy I'm using is. 1.1 avatar yeah that is correct so change that to 1.1 avatar let's run it and see how that's gonna look like click on play there we go so I'm going to try that look at that look at the cowboy go yeah and that is how you actually change the the amateur that we have instead of the standard asset and that is it guys I like it this is very very good yeah let's get the cowboy move around and there goes the cowboy guys so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this very very beautiful tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it anyway you can do a lot with the the starter assets yeah there we go so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this beautiful tutorial so you all have a nice day now bye for now